Good morning, folks. The news is going to be different the next few days with two of my machines breaking yesterday and none of the usual graphics or music at the helm. First priority this week is to get back to normal and recover what can be recovered from the computers, but nevertheless, we've had a big earthquake. Another magnetic connection to the sun is upcoming. We've got hurricanes, the ionosphere, and more to discuss. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. Find the last 24 hours exceptionally calm indeed. The coronal holes are coming in, looking dark, big one at the limb on the left behind the earth-facing group. The sunspot group born on the south is still growing and spreading, but doesn't have much in the way of magnetic mixing or proximity, and so it's no surprise it hasn't made any significant solar flares. The solar wind has certainly been a bit more fluctuating, but the peak intensity you see there at the top of the mountain, about 500 kilometers per second only, relatively low density, so geomagnetism barely even budges. That's on the right. And on the left, you can see the magnetometer curves in normal range and without significant disruption. The plasma filaments are still dancing nicely around the limbs. One of them did release overnight on the northern polar crown. It went towards Saturn. The coronal holes have made themselves feel welcome on the Earth-facing half of the Sun. We are connected to the one turning through, but have that much larger one incoming. Big quake struck Fiji again, and once again it was at the mantle transition zone over 500 kilometers down. Right now, there aren't many places in the world with both atmospheric and blood echo seismic warning signals. The tropical system near the U.S. and Mexico doesn't need the deep ones, but the rest of them do. Despite wide blot signals across the west, powerful lows take care to the north of Japan, approach on the Philippines, developing near the Solomon Islands, and also near Afghanistan and Europe. QuakeWatch.net updates with every blood echo and new wind map update and explains what to do with them. Looking at some of the storms, landfall will be tonight in Mexico. While that will signal the faster hustle of the storm up over Arizona, major alerts for the original Valley of the Sun upcoming. Of course, the Philippines and Taiwan are already eagerly awaiting to see if the system maintains this latitude or if it breaks northward as is currently forecast to occur. I want to quickly come back to the Carnegie curve from yesterday. There was a bit of confusion and I want to clarify. There is a total global atmospheric electricity and then there's what's happening over your head. Generally, the sunlight ionizes and excites and that fades as night falls with sunrise and sunset being key moving periods locally. But my midnight isn't like your midnight, and noon in India isn't like noon in Seattle. Despite your local conditions being dominated by the time of day, the total planet circuit energy breathes in and out every 24 hours. It rises from a low point around 3 a.m. UTC, which is around noon for India. It rises over 16 hours until peaking at 1900 UTC, which is around noon for the U.S. West Coast. And then over the last eight hours of the day, it falls back fast towards the 0300 bottom. So the backup to my backup computer cannot handle large, long wind map runs like this one on Null School, or the previous ones on Windy.com, but really quickly going through pressure, precipitable water, and then over to clouds should help show you how the tropical systems concentrate the atmospheric vapor and churn it into storms. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, we have finished up the Solar Forcing Deeper Look series. These are meant to complement Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, our latest book, and this was indeed most of September's episodes. Folks, I'll be doing what I can to get this computer situation back to normal here this week. Until then, I hope this wasn't too terrible of a change. It is temporary. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.